it's an open secret in, in show business. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're, we're getting married soon, sometime in November. Okay na ako, gagarahin na ako. I'm doing what I love. And I'm together with the one I love. Sport event to be mounted in the Philippines in years flagged off on, on August 2. That's tomorrow at the gardens behind Okada Manila here in Paranaque City, presented by Okada Manila. Motorsport Carven Carnivale 2023 is a five day sporting event topped off by a Philippine Rally Cross series that is expected to gather over 50 racers and route to Tarlac and back. Good afternoon, everyone. I saw familiar faces here today. I know! To our media friends. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to Okada Manila. I'm sure it's going to be a very exciting afternoon, as well as it's going to lead into a very exciting weekend. Rain or shine. Thank you for gracing the occasion, Councillor Jo Marie and uh, Director Victor and Cello have worked extremely hard. I was monitoring things from behind, and I'm, I'm very happy that all of you are here. We're looking forward to a very memorable event here in Paranaque through Okada. Alam na natin na ang passion talaga niya ay itong uh, car racing. And uh, nakawinkuhan ko siya last week and sabi niya he's excited to be back dito sa kanyang passion na to. Please welcome City Councilor of Paranaque and a car racing enthusiast, Mr. Jomari Iliana. Yes, uh, good afternoon sa lahat. Um, I see familiar faces. No? Um, iba-ibang field ng journalism. Um, kami, dito sa Lungsod ng Paranaque, we're very happy uh, to have you guys here. Uh, welcome po sa Lungsod ng Paranaque and welcome to Okada Manila. It all started with a cup of coffee. <laughs> um, Ricky and I, no, since uh, Toyota Corolla Cup days, so, nag-abot kami ni Ricky. He was the champion then. I was in my rookie year. I remember Toyota Corolla Cup. Uh, we were like the best competitors, no? For you guys who saw the movie Rush, mm -hmm. I compare Ricky and I. Kay Nicky Loda and uh, James Hunt. Um, kami ni Ricky, we became best friends. And then, Nagiwahe wala yung karera namin. <clears throat> uh, nagpatuloy yung career ko as a sky driver. I went into production. I was producing concerts and then showbiz and then politics. And then Ricky went on his own way, um, managing races, local and international, the biggest. Uh, event I heard na ginawa niya was yung latest na, na Le Mans competition in 2010. A few months ago, early this year, sabi ko sa kanya, ah, kape naman tayo. Sabi ko, malita ako, head ka na ng ano, motorsports ng AAP. Uh, congratulations sa'yo. And halika, kwentuhan kami. Sabi namin, you know what? It's time to give back to the sport that has been good to us. Ito yung sport na ang layo ng narating ng karera namin. Ricky has more trophies than me. Ako, I have a few. Pero sabi ko, it's time to give back. So what do we do? Let's wake up the sleeping giant. Higante ito na natutulog eh. Pag ginising mo ito, dragon pa rin ito. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, which is the golden age, golden era of motorsport. Na ako ang inabot ko, 90s na. So, the vision is to wake up motorsports here in the Philippines. The mission is to make it prosper. And the driving force is the passion. So, anong tayo ng bahay? 
Hanap tayo ng bahay. Kailangan natin ng bahay. So, para kami nunod ako ng mga latest na issues. Eh. Para kami TVJ. <laughs> para, <laughs> para kami TVJ. Literal, naghahanap kami ng bahay. And here comes the, the biggest integrated resort casino in the Philippines. Na uh, tinanggap kami. And uh, we found a home in Okada, Manila. And tinanggap kami ng bumbo. At um, kaya kami nandito ngayon uh, launching the very first motorsport carnival presented by Okada, Manila. So kami po ay masayang-masaya at uh, kami po ay tinanggap nila. At uh, we found a home for right. motorsports. I grew up uh, in a motorsports environment. My father and my grandfather were involved in motorsports. And even at a young age, I already saw and I have claimed that uh, within, at least within the Southeast Asian region, the Philippines was prime in the 70s and in the 80s. We started to struggle in the 90s and I believe we are still far from going back to uh, the glory days. Especially now that I do races internationally in Europe, in Asia, in the Middle East. Nakita ko. And if I if I don't go, I don't need to go too far. At the moment, um, I'm proud to say that Thailand is prime, and I'm part of the development of Thailand oh. now. Thanks thanks to the pandemic, I found myself planting myself back home. Okay. And I told myself, what better opportunity is it? for me to try to bring back to the sport, bringing with me my knowledge and experience from outside. Kaya kaya natin, kaya kaya natin. I'm, I, I still continue to analyze kung ano yung intricacies and in, in differences. I already identified it. I'm going to spare everybody from what it is, but we can do it now. Timely naman yung, you know, I was in the Macau Grand Prix when he called me. I was running the race, I was very busy. But he, he sent me a message, I need to talk to you, I need to talk to you. So at night I called him. He was very excited. When we're coming home, because I want to do this, I want to do this, it's so perfect. Because I have my own ideas, but I need I need support. I'm from Paranaque, I live in Paranaque. Perfect combination. It was over a cup of coffee with a table napkin writing down some ideas. So that's, that's, that's where it all started. Now, looking forward, I believe this is the start of the many uh, programs and projects I, as part of the AAP Automobile Association for Philippines, would like to implement. Again, sharing what I've learned outside, I feel very confident kaya kaya ng Pilipina yan. Okada, we're leaning on very solid foundation. Provide some idea on how it led to this one. Um, part of the trust of Okada Manila is actually to do collaborations. Okay. Uh, I guess you've all known that a lot of the beauty pageants right. are here. So when you say beauty pageants, the Mito Nasa Amin, the actual Miss World Philippines, Miss Earth, Miss Universe Philippines. Right. So we're trying to expand also the collaborations beyond uh, beauty pageants because we have to target and touch on different market segments in the industry. And one other potential market segment that caters to a bulk of our business interest is actually the sporting industry. Okay, so this is sporting industry. That's why that's the main reason why we are looking at collaborations on things like this. And na kataon na lumapit sa amin sila Council of Indiana and everything. It was actually a um, uh, protracted discussion ito and everything. Kasi first time everything. Uh, sabi nga, lulusong sa ganyang class uh, engagement. But then again, at the end of the day, what's most important is that is it aligned with our strategy, di ba? So, as part of our strategy to, to, to expose ourselves into the equity of sports, kasi majority din naman ang aming customers, dito or guests, and gamers are also the ones also catering to that kind of lifestyle. And um, that's why we, we, we had this opportunity to engage with Council Indiana and this particular event. 
that was the question of um, what would be our role in right. like, providing a home. Then obviously, dito natin ginagawa ang ating event right now, starting from our press con. And then of course, all the major activities that are that's going to, that's about to happen, starting uh, after the ingress tomorrow and then all throughout until our award site. So we became like a one-stop pit shop. Pit stop, I mean not pit shop. One-stop pit stop, okay, for for the race or for the event. Dito kami mula press call hanggang pagdating sa awarding ceremonies uh, to, to show that Okada is here uh, in terms of capitalizing on the opportunity to come up with this good and um, uh, excellent collaborations with the sporting industry, particularly with this initiative of Councilor Jomarilla. Actually, in addition to what Victor has mentioned, uh, of course, we would like to support the objective and advocacy of uh, our good counselor, Johnny Iriana, to bring back the heydays, the glory of uh, Philippine motoring. And aside from that, may I inform everyone that Okada Manila has been the chosen hotel of a lot of automotive uh, accounts, corporations, like Mitsubishi, Nissan, Ducati, Vespa, and many more, Toyota. So we are actually the uh, top of mind whenever they have product launches, whenever they have national conferences and even year-end parties. So this is actually aligned with our brand and like what we had mentioned, uh, you mga clients namin, both for gaming and non-gaming, are actually into this as well. Okay. So this is a perfect collaboration between Okada Manila and of course, Councilor John Marie Iliana and Sir uh, The event will start tomorrow, Wednesday. Uh, scrutineering of uh, Philippine Rally um, will be set up during the day. And then official flag off will be at 6 p.m. Uh, dun sa mga medyo uh, medyo inabot yung panahon ng 70s and 80s during that time na uh, we flag off all the rally events in Green Hills in Green Hills area dati. so now we're doing it here flag off and uh, tuloy tuloy ang karera nila somewhere in Tarlac and then babalik sila ng, ng Sunday but they'll be battling it out for days. Babalik sila ng Sunday, i-award natin silang lahat ng Sunday, the winners. No? And then, we have a break on Thursday. Friday, we have uh, a group gathering in memory of uh, Eduardo Del Rosario, um, founder ng Cavite Auto Racing Team. On Saturday, we have ESC, and we have a drifting exhibition. Uh, whole day din yan. Whole day din yan. And then on Sunday, we have Philippine Autocross Championship uh, competing. It will be in the boardwalk. Lahat naman ito sa boardwalk. Um, ang, ang tao, ang spectator, at saka ang competition hindi natin maisabayan eh, sa isang lugar. So all the events will be in boardwalk. Ang uh, spectators natin will be in the view deck. The Guardian. Oh. So, Guardian then, yeah. uh, we also have a company that's uh, very, very generous to us. Uh, yan yung KGC and yung Global. Uh, they'll be providing, I know, they'll be providing snacks and okay. food for everyone. Admission is free. Wala tayong oh. sisigilan yan. So, yeah. pagpasok na lang ang kata, magpapark lang sila. And then, uh, dun sila sa view deck. Right. Uh, they can enjoy everything there. So we're hoping, hoping for good weather. Yeah. Ako isa lang yung ano eh, wish ko eh, parang ano ko eh, parang pantasya. Na sana may sunset bukas, napakaganda ng sunset yes. ng Manila Bay. I can say it's the most beautiful sunset in the world. So kaya namin tinayamay ng alas sa gusto eh. Gusto namin ng sunset paglubog ng araw, flag off na. Uh, so right. competitions, now we have a few. Uh, we have a few uh, celebrities uh, still competing. I'm not sure lang if you line up. Uh, nothing with Rally, uh, Philippine Rally and Autocross. Um, I, I'm sure there are a few. Um, 
Although, like mga professional na car racer or mga, may mga artista din kasi na car racer, so are they? Chocolate? Yes po, yes po. Um, yeah, we have, a, we, have a, we have a long list of competitors na coming from, from showbiz. Na, um, kalat kalat yung category until, until we see yung list ng naka-enlist doon sa competition that's only the time that we can tell na pumasok sila at sasali sila. Uh, my eldest uh, will compete, Andre, will compete in the autocross. Uh, Ricky's son also, uh, Ricardo, it will be competing in autocross. Uh, we have special awards to be given on Sunday sa awarding na. Um, ano to eh? Um, parang talagang nakaka-relate ako dun sa, sa pinagdaanan namin lahat. Special awards will be given. Um, Mateo Gutichelli for everything that he was able to achieve and contribute uh, sa motorsports ng Pilipinas. Uh, malaki yun. Pero kadalasan bulong lang, di ba? Napag-uusapan lang nung nakakaintindi. Before yung stardom ni Mateo, it was a big, big part. Other one is Michelle Bumgarner, uh, retired, retired, um, very, very high level. She reached IndyCar level. Uh, celebrity then, pero alam niyo. Um, lastly, Congressman Richard Gomez uh, will be given a special award also uh, for lahat ng achievements nila, contribution. Uh, Goma was very, very big. My very first slalom, Ricky, remember? Na, Nissan slalom, celebrity slalom cup, that was during the 90s, and of course, uh, lahat ng racing events. And also, yung achievements niya as a champion, as a carter. Uh, Mateo and, and, and Goma were great champions. And uh, ang daming kwento ni Goma pagdating doon sa, alala ko yun eh, pagdating doon sa palibasa ng Lucky Set. He was convincing me to, you know, compete in karting. So, I didn't type it. <laughs> and he would uh, tell stories like, uh, you know, when I competed in Hong Kong, um, I was battling it with Giancarlo Fisichella. F1 champion, you know, no, Italian. And Carter palang sila. They were competing with each other, you know, battling it out. And Goma, of course, retired from motorsport, although with events in Arena. But Giancarlo Vizicella went all the way up to F1 and became a champion. So, ang sa akin, ano, um, we're looking at history, we're looking at the background. Kailangan natin tumingin sa pinanggalingan natin para marating yung paroroanan. So, we're giving away special awards for for celebrities na malaki ang na-contribute in motorsport. I believe na no, no, uh, post-pandemic, post-pandemic, everyone's starting from zero. Everyone's starting from scratch. Rico was mentioning kanina, it was a high level sa ibang bansa. Pero business, tourism, lahat naman nagsisimula tayo sa starting line yun eh. So, my thinking, pantay-pantay ito pag nag-umpisa. Diba? And, uh, kumbaga, we're, and doon kami sa point in our lives that we paid our dues. It's time to give back. So, ano siya? Um, more than anything, it's more parang charity work na to for the sport that we love. And, uh, ano siya? Uh, Suporta lang sa sport na bago kami, habang kaya pa ng katawan namin. Uh, now's the time. Now's the time. Ngayon yung panahon. We're looking at doing this twice a year. Wow. Um, kami naman, ito yung first. Right after matapos yung awarding namin, upuan na namin yung next one. So, expect expect more. Um, kasi maraming kategoryang motor racing. Um, Nahihimay mo siya into different categories. Meron small, medium, and, and large. And then, we look at also yung competition of motorcycles. Um, ang backbone namin, 
will definitely be road safety. Um, kami yung ano eh, kami yung tunay na nakakaintindi ng, ng road safety, public roads and all that. No? So ang advocacy pa rin is road safety. Kami yung naggaling na doon na ang klaseng aksidente or maaaring maging aksidente yung pinagdadaanan namin. Yung standards namin for safety is very, very high, lalo na sa motorsport. And ito yung gusto namin ihatid sa lahat ng motorista na Pilipino na dito tayo maglaro sa mga event na yung proper venue, yung, yung, yung tamang organization. Huwag na tayo maglaro sa kali. Huwag na tayo maglaro ng illegal. Doon tayo sa totoong professional na sanction na event. So, we're looking at this uh, twice a year. Yun ang nakikita namin. And uh, we'll try to do everything we can to to give you yung motorsport entertainment na matagal na rin namin na may miss na gusto natin mapanan. It will take orientation, it will take um, people observing and realizing that motorsports events are after all safer um, activities than having to do um, yung magmatulit sa kali. Right. Now, there's a very big difference. Motorsports events have a safety plan. The racetrack itself has a safety plan. That would also include X number of ambulances depending on the size of the event on the race days. Um, I would also add some recovery vehicles which would be part of the safety plan. But generally what I'm trying to say is when you have a proper event, a proper motorsports event, it is a lot safer right. than having to um, explore on the streets. Now, that's not going to prevent accidents. Accidents, incidents are always part and parcel of a motorsport event, but the big difference is the preparation behind it. It was the 1997 final race championship. Yeah, uh, wreck. Total wreck. Well, although, ano na yan, um, they're built uh, to be crashed. Okay. Uh, our helmets, our gears are built to protect us. I agree with what Ricky is saying eh. In public roads, sa totoo lang, mas dangerous pa eh. Look at the statistics ng no? gano'ng karami yung nasasaktan, gano'ng nasasawi sa, sa public roads. If you compare it with motorsport, sa so motorsport kasi, syempre highlighted. Pero sa totoo lang, mas, mas dangerous ang public roads eh. Na totoo lang yan. But we have to, uh, we have to work on it also. Hmm. If I may also add, in the 50s and in the 60s, it, being a race car driver was such a macho. It was, it was, it was very masculine. Kasama na dyan yung, he never went back, he never made it back home. Right. He perished in the race. That was part of it. Oh. And it was normal. Um, however, the FIA, the International Automobile Federation, Worldwide Motorsport Governing Body, has slowly implemented these safety features because motorsports is going to stay. At hindi na pwede yung may casual may casual. It still happens very rarely nowadays, but it still happens. It's still very unfortunate. But the FIA and the AAB, which is under the FIA, is also very particular about uh, safety, safety aspects. It's, it's an evolving, it, it's a continuous um, development towards addressing whatever risks that are still present and visible. So, wala lang. Feel ko lang suot ko yung winning gear ko. I'm wearing my winning shoes sa politika. My winning jacket. Uh, yun lang yung feel ko yung wear kanina. So, you have, if you can see all the marks, these are my sponsors during my 2014 win, podium finish in, in Korea in 2014. She was at the end. She was freaking out. She was freaking out for like the final week going towards uh Nodalo Memorial Rally. So, um, I think it was a Tuesday or Wednesday. You know, some people just having a little bit. So I go, you're, you're freaking out. So I go, I understand. I love Kuya. I love the mom. But you don't have to freak out. That's when she started crying. 
And I had to assure her, sabi ko, makikita mo naman eh. Makikita mo naman pagdato ko. Huwag ka na mag-freak out. Kaya, um, pagdating nung, pagdating nung rally, after the first few stages, and uh, merong cut to go to the service area. So, nandun kami sa service area na. I was with my co-driver, Jerry Milo. So when we went down, we were like kids. Makamiti. Yung smiles namin were like, like hanggang tenga. And kumikislap yung mga mata namin. And then when Abby saw us, sabi niya, okay na mo itong dalawang ito, okay na mo pala sila. Oh, di ba? <laughs> Yun ang story ni Abby at saka yung first experience niya. Um, with competition ng rally last November. It's an open secret in, in show business. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're, we're getting married soon, sometime in November. I cannot be away from from work um, as a counselor, um, as a legislator. Um, hindi ako pwede mawala ng Thursday, so mag-timing kami ng Halloween uh, for a break para makaalis lang ako ng mabilis. So, we're planning, yeah, tuloy naman siya ng, ng November. We just fly out very, very quick. And then, church wedding kami na sometime next year. Latest siguro is 2025. For a church wedding here naman. And then, in my hometown, hometown ng mami ko at saka daddy ko. Peña Francia, in uh, Naga City, Camarina Sur. We're very, very happy. We're very, very blessed. Um, we're, we're doing everything together. Um, the setup now is provided by Abby. She was yeah, the one you know, together with uh, Ohada and Mom Shelly. So they like, set up then. So, ako ano, okay na ako. Di ko na ako sam papunta yung mga tanong mo pero <laughs> tell you straight, okay na ako gagarahin na ako. I'm doing what I love and I'm together with the one I love. Hindi ko naman na-influence yung bata, hilig lang siya. Hilig lang, lang niya talaga. Um, it's in him. And yung mga sinasalihan niya in the beginning when he was um, 18, um, he, he tried uh, drag racing, um, sanctioned events, yung ganyan. And um, when Pagka yung drag racing kasi straight line lang yan, di ba? So he was enjoying it. I, I didn't expect na magugustuhan niya ng all throughout. And yung, yung bata nasa, nasa kanila eh. Yung, yung mga anak namin eh. Um, we tried. We tried. Subukan. Um, si, si Chichi, Ilyako, at saka si Andre Ilyana, it's in them eh. Kami yung nagulat eh. Kasi meron yung mga bata, meron sila. Um, ano yan eh, it's a gift. It's a gift. Uh, it's a special gift given. So, it's our responsibility as yung magulang to nourish, develop it. Um, andito kami ngayon doon sa sitwasyon na yun na ibibigay yung, yung support because we see the potential in them. I give them full support. Uh, with this, I also anticipate a lot of competitors, and I'm sure it's going to be an enjoyable uh, week and weekend. It would be a grand spectacle. So I encourage people, not just fail, to come and uh, enjoy the weekend with us. Um, Lutso da Paranyaki, Mokada um, Manila presents Motorsport Carnivale, at uh, ito po yung magsisimula na bukas we're asking our friends from the media na, uh, na supportahan ito and we're asking everyone na uh, pagtulungan ito kasi isa po itong, uh, isa po itong uh, advocacia para for entertainment, tourism, and motoring. So, ako yung nagpapasalamat sa Okada Manila, ako yung nagpapasalamat sa AAP, ako yung nagpapasalamat sa 
lungsod ng Paranaque para po sa pagkakataong ito. Um, kami na may dito ay mga sundalo lang at uh, kami nag-deliver ng, ng serbisyo at entertainment. No? So, sana po, supportahan ninyo and uh, welcome to Motorsport Carnival. <laughs>